I can give a talk of one hour on the scientific benefits of Salah. For example, the best part of Salah is the sujood. Now when you do sujood, you put the highest part of your body, the forehead, on the lowest part of the ground. And when we do that, what we find that there is more supply of the blood going to the brain. That makes a healthy brain. There are less chances of having chill veins. That is the disease of the skin of the face. When you are doing sujood, there is, there is drainage of the bronchial tree. So less chances of having bronchiectasis. Now when we breathe normally, when we breathe normally, one third of the air in the lung remains. It's called as residual air. When you breathe in the sujood, the abdominal viscera, they press against the diaphragm. And the diaphragm, it exhales out the residual air. So you breathe in more fresh air. So because you breathe in more fresh air, there's less residual air, the chances your, hung, your lung will be healthy is far superior. Less chances of having lung diseases. Furthermore, there's more increased venous return of the abdominal viscera. There's less chances of having piles. When you get up from the position of sijda, when you stand up, there is more stress on the calf muscles. And the calf muscles, according to medical science, they are known as peripheral heart. It pumps the blood to the lower part of the body. I can go on and on giving references. How does Salah benefit? But, but, we Muslims, we don't pray Salah for all these benefits. We pray because we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These medical benefits are side dishes, dessert. Our main dish, biryani, is because we thank Allah and we worship Him. These medical benefits may inspire a non-Muslim. He may come closer to Islam. It will keep you healthy. But mainly, it is to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 